The Hunting Grounds is brought to you by Spy Point Trail Cameras and by Bedford Camera and Video, Hook, Line, and Sinker Outdoors, Bowtech, Gold Tip, Muddy Outdoors, Wet Ink Design, Eagle Seed, Shea Bug Design, Nose Jammer, Luminox, Four Wheel Concepts, Cross Country Camo, Camir Deer, Swacker, Advanced Tree Stands. Well, welcome back to the Hunting Grounds. Fixing to shoot the old CVA. Make sure it's still dead on because I'm heading back to North Central Arkansas this weekend. It's the exact same place that you're going to see on the hunt on this week's episode. Super blessed to be going back out there. Let's take a look at this week's episode. Alright, well I'm out here in a new location. I am just about as dead center in the state of Arkansas as you can get almost on the Arkansas-Missouri line. I'm out here with John Janes, just a viewer of our show, big supporter, he invited me out. I took him up on the offer, super pumped. They've got me in the shooting house, overlooking, I'm just gonna call it Big Buck Bottom because this is awesome. It's got hundreds of acres of woods on one side, hundreds of thousands of acres of woods on the other side, and this draw right through here. Said so I'm gonna see deer, pretty excited about it. This is going into the last weekend of gun, here in Arkansas, so you know, hopefully I get it done. I'm looking for a buck that gets me excited. If it gets me excited, it's gonna have some lead slung at it, and hopefully I connect on it. So we'll see what happens. Super pumped, super blessed to be out here. Who does this? You know, this is awesome for viewers to do this for us. Uh, we'll see what happens. Here we go, the wind has died. I've got deer coming behind me here in the shooting house. I'm going to try to get the camera out where I can see. Hopefully big old bucks come by this stoves. still feeding out in front of me, but the wind has picked up. So it's getting about 15 miles an hour today. It's gusting up to that right now, probably consistently about nine miles per hour. Um, deer just aren't moving out of the field. So I've got a massive block of timber just north of me. With the wind, I want to be able to use it to my advantage, cover up my noise that I make walking through the woods, and uh, it's to my advantage. That's going to be hitting me in the face for the most part when I'm walking in there, so I'm going to be able to spot stalk all the way back up to the lodge. Hopefully I can see something other than just tells. I know I'm going to see some deer in there. We might see some deer as we're sneaking through the field. We've got a ways to walk. Find about a mile of timber to walk through before we get back up to the house, but we'll see what happens.
far because all is in my county anyways is tonight and worked my tail up 20 30 mile an hour winds all weekend temperatures in the 70s I walked over five miles today spot and stalking in the wind I've seen doe after doe after doe this place is known to hold a lot of bucks last 20 minutes buck steps out get the camera on him turn my other camera on and when I look up He's gone, and he's ran out of frame, and so I moved the camera, and he's already gone across the field. Literally had five seconds to shoot. Probably would have taken the shot, too. Good buck. Um, especially for my first buck in Arkansas this year. We've got about uh, five to ten minutes left of shooting light. God's got a bigger plan. Maybe he's got a bigger buck in mind. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but it's still frustrating, but you got to know there's something better. There is a reason for everything, so we'll set it out until dark. Maybe that big 140 that we're looking for in this area is going to come out. I don't know, but I'll be back. Well, you can see there, things didn't go the way I planned. You know, after talking to John James, we were for sure that I was going to get a chance at a big old buck, put a lot of time in, went out there, weather ended up getting 70 degrees, wind gusts from 20 to 30 miles an hour, and the weeks previous, they were seeing deer galore, weather conditions were just right, but you can't always get frustrated at that fact. You got to step back and take a breather because God's in control, but God's got his own plan, and look at the opportunity that's given me to go back out this weekend, deer getting back to their feeding pattern, weather conditions are right, and I'm able to spend an extra day there compared to the weeks previous. So I'm super pumped, and it just goes to show, don't get frustrated at those facts, just know that God's in control, and there is a plan. Well, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And guys, we got a lot of big things coming up for the hunting grounds. Got the ATA show in January. So we need your support to help grow our show even more. Be sure to follow us and everything that we do on Facebook, Instagram, our website, and YouTube. And until next time, get a youth or hunter involved in the outdoors. And as always, have a better and average day.